Y. Um, so this is afterplay.io. This is the emulation platform I've been working on. Um, so here is your, your game screen where you can see all the games in your library. At the moment, uh, I'm just doing Game Boy Advance games, but I'll add more, more platforms um, as people start to use it. I have plans to, to add everything up to Nintendo 64 and PlayStation 1 and everything below that, basically, in terms of um, power. So on the screen here, you can see all the games that you've added, um, and you can, you can see the last state that the game was in. So to start playing a game, it's very easy. You just click on it, and you're brought right back to to where to where you left off. And it's very fast. So if you if you want to go into another game, there's no problem. Now, what's really cool is that uh, it's auto-saving every 20 seconds, so you're automatically brought back to, to the last state. So if I go over here, let's go into this building in here, and uh, like I said, it's, it's auto-saving every 20 seconds, so if I, I can view my saves, if I, if I click this little save button here, um, so you can see your auto saves and your your save library. So your save library is like manual saves that you can make by clicking this button here. So if I go out of this now, I can leave it, uh, and I can come back and I'm right, I'm right where I left off. And this works cross platform. So I'll show you in a minute when I go onto my phone, and you'll be able to see I'm, I'm right here too. Uh, other features include the ability to to take screenshots. So I'll just open up some Pokemon. And I'll take a screenshot. And what's cool as well is you can load any of these states very easily. So if I want to load this state here, I just click load. And we're, we're loaded right there. We also have full, um, full gamepad support. Uh, where you can you can set your your gamepad and yeah we have some screenshots so you can see here this is a screenshot that I, I took I also have support for recording uh, screencasts on it but I won't I won't introduce that for a while so that's it uh, I'll move over to, to my phone now and you can see how that works. So instead of instead of a phone, I thought I'd use my my tablet. And yeah, if I go back to uh, Metroid Fusion, you can see we're right we're right back in the in the action. And of course, we, we support control uh, on-screen controls, but also you can connect your controller to your to your tablet, to your tablet too. And was there any, what other game did I have? Oh yeah, Zelda. So if we go in here, you can see we're right we're right where we left off on the um, on the on the laptop. And of course, our our screenshots in here too. To add a game is very simple. You just click add game and you upload your your .gba files here. And like I said, soon in the future we'll add more and more platforms. And yeah, that's that's kind of it. Um, I think it's the best way to play Game Boy Advance games because you can you can start on your PC and you can move to your your laptop. Uh, and then you can continue somewhere else on your phone. So I'd like to I'd like to just demo that there actually. So let's go to Zelda. And I'm in here now, so let me go outside. And let me go into this building here. This 
this building looks quite similar to the last one. Maybe actually let's go into this one. I think this one looks quite different. Yeah. I can just check. I can either save manually or, yeah, let's save manually. Or auto save, either works. And we can see that's in our save library now. And what it does is when you when you launch a game, it, it automatically just loads from the last save, whether it's an auto save or a regular save. And we can go over to, to my laptop. That was the video I was recording. And if we go down to Zelda here, you can see the screenshot is already updated. And we can just start playing. And we're right here. And of course, uh, you get a, a message just saying that a new session has been started because otherwise your saves would, would override each other.